The North Carolina Gourd Society began in 1937 with a group of friends and relatives in Cary. The uh, story was that they divided the gourds from one birdhouse that fell down and broke and agreed to get back together and see what they had grown. And so the theoretical first gourd festival was when they all brought their gourds back to see what they had, had come up with. And except for a hiatus during the Second World War, the fascination with gourds has continued. Seventy-some years later, we're still having a festival to show off what we do with the gourds that we've grown or that we've purchased or the new skills that we have. So the Gourd Society's been around a very long time. In fact, it's the Alpha Chapter of the American Gourd Society. We will actually have the historic gourds that have been collected through time from the Gourd Society members. So they bring in their pieces that normally you can't see all at once in one place. On display also are winners in over 70 categories of competitions. You're going to see categories from growing, from the smallest to the largest, to gourds that have been decorated as musical instruments, holiday ornaments, as bowls, baskets. If you can think of it, we can do it with a gourd. If all this inspires your inner artist, you can pick from a variety of raw gourds to create your own gourd work. And if you need more than inspiration, there are workshops available on the art and craft of working with gourds like Miriam Joy Sagan's workshop on her wax crayon technique. I like the crayons and I love the texture of it. I love the 3D effect that it gives to it. Not only that, but the color. And I found that I could apply it to the gourd and it stayed rather really well. And I had all these bright, wonderful colors just like paint. And you can mix and match or do anything you want as well. The versatility of the gourd makes it a wonderful medium to work with from beginner crafters to seasoned artists. It's pretty amazing the variety of talent we have here. We have many people who also sell in galleries, so it is up to the art level now for playing with our vegetables. The goal of the company was to create jewelry out of natural things. Gourds allow you to create anything you want. It's a very easy material to work with, and the only limitation that you have with gourds is your imagination. And if you like to have your imagination inspired, there's no better place than the North Carolina Gourd Festival. The most important thing when you come is to bring your camera because you are not going to believe what you see. It truly is amazing. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. The 73rd Annual North Carolina Gourd Festival is September 6th and 7th in the Holzhauser Building on the NC State Fairgrounds in Raleigh. Hours are Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 10 to 4. For more information, go online to ncgourdsociety.org.